let's start your investment journey. Hi, and welcome to another edition of our weekly market outlook report for the week starting Monday, the 7th of June. We have just left behind us a volatile trading week and a busy economic calendar, which kicked off June 2021 trading activity. We are heading into a slightly quieter week ahead of us, which starts with Chinese trade balance and Japanese GDP quarter one data on Monday. On Tuesday, we should be on lookout for Eurozone ZEW economic sentiment survey and GDP quarter one data. Going forward on Wednesday, the main point of interest is reserved for Chinese Consumer Price Index and Bank of Canada rate decision and statement. Also, in the afternoon, we will get US crude oil inventories. On Thursday, we should be on the lookout for ECB interest rate decision and statement. Also, US Consumer Price Index and weekly jobless claims are due in the afternoon. The week will finish on Friday with the start of 47th G7 Summit, which is due to run from the 11th until 13th of June. Also, UK GDP April figures, industrial and manufacturing production, and US Michigan consumer sentiment. Now, let's take a look at few markets. Let's start with Bitcoin. The price action is consolidating sideways in something uh, that appears to be a coiling price action. Uh, the key trading level going forward is at 38,950, which is this falling resistance trend line. Uh, a rally into that level and a rejection or the loss of these current lows towards uh, 34,000 could open the way for the extension uh, of this move to the downside, targeting additional support at 33,000, 30,750, obviously 30,000, which is a nice and round number, possibly even lower towards 28,000. Alternatively, if we see a rally and an end of day close above uh, this key trading level at 38,940 uh, and a retest of that level from above uh, that could possibly create a short squeeze, potentially opening the way for a spike higher, targeting additional resistance at 42,660, 46,000, possibly even 48,000 which would be the retest of this uh, neckline of the topping head and shoulder pattern. This is German 30 or the DAX index, which is uptrending quite nicely. The price is supported by multiple moving averages and also trend lines uh, in daily and intraday timeframes. Key trading level going forward is at 15,500. So this was the previous resistance, all time high, all time high, all time high, a breakout and a retest. The price is currently trading uh, very close to the new all time high, uh, either a pullback into this trend line and a rally or a breakout above these current highs could open the way for the continuation to the upside, uh, targeting new all time high uncharted territory 15,800, 15,900, possibly even 16,000 on the upside. Alternatively, if you see a uh, pullback lower, uh, loss of 15,600 to the downside that could open the way for deeper corrective move, targeting additional support at 15,500, possibly even 15,490 uh, to the downside. Nasdaq, we had a bullish uh, breakout to the upside after US non-farm payroll numbers uh, were published. Uh, this appeared to be a sideways consolidation, basically a mini version of this larger pattern that we see here. Key trading level going forward is at 13,600. Pullback to 13,600 and a rally uh, or a rally and a breakout above these current highs uh, could open the way for the continuation to the upside, targeting additional resistance at 13,850, 14,000, 14,100. Alternatively, if you see a sell off and a loss, an end of day close below 13,600, that would change the outlook, potentially opening the way for a deeper corrective move targeting additional support at 13,500, possibly even 13,450. 
euro dollar uh, corrective uh, sideways pullback here in overall uptrending market we have a sequence of higher lows and higher highs uh, the price is bouncing off these lows uh, it needs to break above one spot 22 and creates an end of day close above that key trading level uh, for the continuation to the upside basically extension to the upside targeting additional resistance at 122.60 123.30 24 possibly even 124.60 alternatively if you see a pull rally and a rejection or a pullback from the current levels and a loss of 121 an end of day close below that level would negate uh, the bullish outlook potentially opening the way for deeper corrective move targeting additional support at one spot 2050 possibly even one spot 20 to the downside cable sideways consolidation here however bullish breakout to the upsides uh, after non-farm payroll numbers uh, were published and uh, subsequent us dollar weakness across the board uh, key trading level going forward is at one spot 40 50 which is cluster of these uh, lows here and also this rising support trend line as long as that level holds bulls are in charge so basically rally from there and a breakout above these current swing highs at 142.30 retest of that level from above could open the way for the continuation to the upside targeting 142.80 143 143.50 143.90 Alternatively, if you see a pullback and an end of day close below 140.50, retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance that could open the way for a deeper corrective move towards additional support at one spot 40, one spot 39.60. Dollar Japanese yen corrective pullback lower in overall prevailing uh, uptrend. So, a sequence of higher lows. Uh, key trading level going forward is yet again very close to this 109, 109.20, 108.90. So, there is a zone of about 30 points there. Uh, rising support trend line, uh, multiple uh, previous touches of that level as well. Pullback to that level and a rally is bullish, possibly a breakout from the current levels and a close above these current swing highs at 110.30 could open the way for a gradual move higher targeting 110.50 uh, 111 111.50 alternatively if you see a pullback and a loss of 108.90 a retest of that level from underneath as a, as a newly found resistance that could open the way for a corrective pullback targeting additional support at 108.50 possibly even 108 to the downside gold nicely uptrending supported by rising support trend line a sequence of higher lows and higher highs uh, this was a significant uh, key trading level in the past 1850 1860s the zone of about 10 points so this was a breakout and now a retest again as long as that level holds bulls are in charge in particular if we see a push higher and an end of day close above 1900 towards 1920 a breakout above 1920 and an end of day close above that level could open the way for the continuation to the upside targeting additional resistance at 1927 1950 1960 possibly even higher Alternatively, if you see a pullback and an end of day close below 1850, a retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance that could open the way for deeper corrective move, targeting additional support at initially 1840, 1820 to the downside. Lastly, let's talk about crude oil. Uh, we have a bullish breakout higher. Uh, crude oil is trading very, very close to the psychologically important $70 per barrel. It's a round number. It's a significant uh, level. Key trading level to the downside is at 68.14. 
that's the major support to the downside at this point in time pull back to that level and a rally or a push higher and a breakout an end of day close above 70 could open the way for the continuation to the upside targeting additional resistance at 71 72 possibly even 73 60 alternatively if we see a push lower and an end of day close below uh, 68.15 that could open the way for deeper corrective move targeting additional support at 67.30 possibly even 65.80 thank you for watching thank you for listening stay safe and happy trading bye for now let's start your investment journey